So today I have a haul to show you. A couple nights ago, my youth group from church had a Christmas party, and we do a Dirty Santa gift exchange. And I actually got a really awesome gift this year. And this gift exchange, you don't pick someone's name and buy them a present. You just buy a present. You can buy whatever type of present you want to buy, ranging from seven to ten dollars, and you bring it in. And um, one person will go. They'll pick a present. And whoever's next, if they like the present that the person opened before them, they can steal that present or they can pick a new present. So it's like you never know what present you're going to get till the very end of the gift exchange. So it, it just makes it really fun because people can get like, if they want that gift, they're going to steal it from you and then someone else could steal it from them. And it's just, it's funny. Okay. Like there was a Bluetooth going around that everyone wanted and it was just funny. But the gift I got, um, my youth pastor's wife, Miss Carrie, brought it. And I know she goes Black Friday shopping. And she had to have bought this on Black Friday or on sale or had a coupon or something. Because it's Bath & Body Works stuff. Like, three big things for Bath & Body Works. And you could never get that for $10. Like, originally this was seven fifty on its own. So there's no way that... So, like, I got a really good present. I was super excited. And I got um, volumizing shampoo and conditioner in the sense um moonlight path and it smells really really good like i love this smell i never bought anything in that scent from there before and how many ounces is this 12 ounces of shampoo and conditioner um and i do like the way this works but it is for fine hair for volumizing shampoo and stuff my hair is really thick and it already has um volume as it is so I'm not going to use that every day, and plus I have color-treated hair, so I have to use color... I, I, I dyed my hair. So I have to use color-treated shampoo. Um, but I did use this, and like that smell lasts in your hair all day, and it smells so good. And then I also got um, Blushing Cherry Blossom Body Cream, and this smell is really good, too. I normally don't buy cherry blossom stuff because... The smell of Japanese cherry blossom ruined it for me because to me Japanese cherry blossom smells like old lady perfume. If you use it and if I just offended you, I am sorry, but it's just not my cup of tea. I don't like the way it smells. Um, but I do like the way the blushing cherry blossom smells. Like I don't know what the difference is really, but in smell wise there is a huge difference to me. And with that gift I also got um See, that wasn't just it. So she had to get that stuff on sale or something. There was this um, makeup gift set that came with six eyeshadow duos, two lipsticks, an eyeliner, and a mascara, and a blush. Where'd that go? Where'd I put that? I just had that. Serious? Oh, I found it. Okay, I found it. All is well. Um, it came with this blush, which I do really like. It has three different shades. And I do like this. And so, yeah. I don't know how often I'm going to wear it, but I do like it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and the mascara it came with, this is what the applicator looks like. And, I mean, obviously it's not the best mascara ever, but it does work well. So I'm going to keep it that way when I run out of the mascara that I'm using right now. I'll still have one and won't have to be like, <gasps> and go out and get one. Because I'm the type of person that uses something until it runs completely out. And then I go buy a new one. So there's a few days in between where it's like, okay, I don't have any more mascara, but I don't have money right now to go buy one. So I keep kind of a less expensive brand at home. That way when I do run out, I can use that. Um, I do not like the eyeliner it came with. It just doesn't work well. It's not very pigmented. But what are you going to do? You know? I have tons of other eyeliner. Um, the little brushes it came with for the eyeshadow and the blush, I'm never going to use. Like, I don't know. I just don't use these types. It had blush on it because I used it just to swatch the stuff when I got opened it. But I am probably not going to use them. But I'm going to keep them that way when my niece Megan comes over and wants to play beauty shop. She won't ruin my good brushes and she can play with those. And it came with six of these eyeshadow duos which I actually do like the way the eyeshadows work I used um, some today and this one is a gold and a brown um, and none of these eyeshadows have names because it's these are from the color workshop that's the brand 
but um yeah and then this one is a gray and a silver this one there's three of them that are very similar this one is black and white and oh look here's one that is also black and white but they are different shades of black and white but they are still both black and white and this one is a blue and silver and then this one is two purples a light purple and a dark purple and this is what I'm wearing today and I really really like this one like I'll probably wear it a lot and then it came with these two lipsticks which I know I'm never gonna use I'm not a big lipstick person and first of all these the way they smell smell exactly like the lipstick I used to play with when I was a little girl like they smell like the play lipstick you know what I mean they don't have very good quality so I'm you know I'm still gonna use them but um it's really cool like this was a really awesome present to get this is the best present I think I've gotten at one of those gift exchanges <laughs> I was just going to say exchange, but then I had to, you know, yeah, okay, anyway, um, but I bought the present that I brought for the gift exchange right before we went to the party, and I got it at Target, so of course I had to pick up some stuff for myself, um, I got this to carry around in my purse, and it is a pack of 10 eye makeup removal wipes, that way if my makeup gets messed up throughout the day, I'll be able to remove it and fix it. And I needed a new mascara, so I wanted to, I really wanted to try this, the Falsies mascara, and it came in a pack of two for $10, and I love, 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 love this mascara. Um, this is what the applicator looks like, it's kind of U-shaped, and I like this ten times better than Lash Blast from CoverGirl, because it does not clump as much. Like, CoverGirl, when I first used it, it clumped, like, so, so much. And I hated that about it, but I really, really like this so much better than CoverGirl. But that's my opinion. You might be addicted to the Lash Blast. I'm not. Um, I needed a new liquid eyeliner, so I picked up one of Elf's. Elf? I cannot talk today. Elf's liquid eyeliners for a dollar. And it's just got, you know, that type of applicator. And this works really well, and it was only a dollar. So, yeah, that was, like, a score there. And I also got one of their makeup brushes. I got the Full Face brush. And this was also a dollar. And, you know, it works nice. So it's not the softest brush I've ever used, but I do like it. And I was debating on whether or not to put that in with the gift I gave for the <laughs> uh, gift exchange. I was going to. But what I bought was one of the... Um, the beauty encyclopedias for the eyeshadow, the natural eye colors, and one of the lip glosses, and none of it had a blush. And so I was gonna put this brush in, and um, it's funny to me because Jamie, our, her username is Jamie Loves Mac, is the one that got the present. And when she sees this, she'll probably be like, "You should have put that brush in there." But I didn't. I kept it. I can't help it. Okay, it's over. It's done. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, and I also got um an Alme Smart Shade Blush and this stuff is really really cool like it um, when you rub it in it matches your skin tone and and goes to a shade that would naturally look nice with your skin tone like it looks like a natural blush I'm wearing it today um, so no matter what skin tone you are it's for yeah it's just called Natural Smart Shade and it like will blend with your skin tone and make it look like a natural blush like it's really pretty and I babysat for Miss Carrie, the lady who bought all the stuff that I got at the party, um, the night before our party because the adults had a Christmas party. And she used to sell Mary Kay products. And she had extra, like, leftover eyeshadows and stuff. And so she gave me two of them. And this one is called Jungle, and it is two greens. And I actually really, really liked her green eyeshadow. I don't know why, I just do. And, um, this one is called Whipped Cocoa, which I love. It's a light matte brown, and I really like to wear that in the crease. Oh, no wonder. I'm trying to put it on this way. Who does that? It doesn't go that way. <sighs> Stupid me. Okay. Anyway. So that was my haul. And 
Now I have eyeshadow on my finger. And now it's probably in my hair. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I just changed my furniture around in my room. So I was thinking about maybe doing a room tour tomorrow or something. I say tomorrow, but then again, I don't know if it will be tomorrow, but sometime this week. Because I haven't been, like, making videos as often as somebody would like me to. Hint, hint, Jamie. Okay, anyway. Um, if any of you guys know Jamie Loves Mac on YouTube, she is a personal friend of mine. Like, I go to school with her and stuff. And she's the one that talked me into making my channel. So, um, my last video I put up was a week ago. And once one of my videos has been up for two days, she's like, okay, make another video. Because she makes videos almost every day, and I'm like... I, I don't have time, <laughs> but um, I'm probably going to do a room tour because I just changed my furniture and I really like the way my room is right now, so it's like I, you know, kind of want to show it, I guess. Before I didn't like it, so it's like, oh, I didn't want people to see my room. And I was thinking about doing a makeup collection. So, like, which one would you rather see? You can leave in the comments below, either a makeup collection or a room tour. But then again, I could do a room tour and then when I get to where I store my makeup I could open the drawers and show you the makeup and then continue on with the room tour so whatever idea you think is best let me know and then I will put that video up a little later this week so yeah thanks for watching and stay beautiful subscribe and yeah I don't know what else to say I said see I do that I always say and and there's not always something else to put at the end <sighs> alright goodbye